Nashville area Hispanic Chamber of Commerce has earned a great reputation on both the regional and the national level. We all know this is an exciting time to live and work in Nashville. How many cities can you live in where you can say, last night, a show premiered with the name of your city? All of them. Character's name, but uh, he was played by the by uh, the father figure, who at one point says, "Nashville's not some podunk town. This is an impressive, growing, vibrant city." And he, he's the villain, but he's got it right. Um, we all know that the overall economy is doing well here. That we're that things are turning. You look out, you see cranes everywhere. Uh, unfortunately, you see Steeler fans everywhere. Um, <laughs> But their money is good. Um, we, have a, we have a lot of work to do. Um, we still need to work hard to create economic opportunity. We still need to work hard to create jobs. And we need to make sure that everybody is included as this city uh, recovers from the deep national recession. This success is due to the hard work and entrepreneurial spirit of professionals like you. You know Nashville is blessed to have a number of high profile, large employers based here. Uh, such as HCA, Dollar General, Nissan. Uh, we were pleased to be able to make an announcement a couple weeks ago that two new headquarter buildings will be built on West End. But small merchants employ more than 300,000 people in the national area. And that's approximately half the private sector employment. In fact, the average business in Davidson County employs 20.6 workers. And 23% of our local workforce is self-employed, and that's far above the national average of 18%. During my administration, we have worked hard to increase the number of minority and women-owned businesses that are ready to do business with the city. Since the start of our procurement non-discrimination program, many of those businesses have succeeded in making connections and seeking out opportunities. The proof is in the numbers. More than 35% of registered minority and women-owned businesses now do business with Metro. We can see why our region has earned a reputation for entrepreneurial success. A good example of that is rising a few blocks from here. You may have noticed that we're building a new convention center. Uh, the Music City Center is set to open next spring. It continues to rack up new bookings for conventions and room nights. The convention center will be an important employer and economic engine for the entire city. It has also been a tremendous opportunity for small and minority-owned businesses. Right now, the area south of Broadway is a bustling construction site that has employed more than 4,200 people since work began. I'm proud to report that we have spent more than $115 million with small, minority, and women-owned business firms that have provided services and materials for the center's construction. That is just one of the ways the city expresses its commitment to being an open, welcoming city that works to help to make sure that all of its citizens thrive. You may have heard me say this before, but I really believe this, and I believe it to the bottom of my heart, and I believe it more today than I did yesterday, that Nashville's best days are still ahead of us. I believe that so firmly because we are a city of, uh, of great citizens like you, and the commitment that you have and the investments you make every day to improving our community. So on behalf of Nashville, and the citizens of Nashville, this is one of the things you get to say as mayor, thank you for what you do. Thank you for this great month of celebration. And can thank you for all you do in making this city such a great place to live. I appreciate it.